It's the National Football League on EA Sports. And if it's in the game, it's in the game. It's the Philadelphia Eagles and the Detroit Lions. And it comes your way next on Madden NFL 24. First open in 2002. There's a look inside Ford Field here in downtown Detroit, the Motor City. Today we've got an NFC matchup on tap as it'll be the Philadelphia Eagles taking on the Detroit Lions. Brandon Gordon alongside Charles Davis. Uh, before kickoff, Charles, quickly, your keys to the game. Well, partner, I could give you the standard ones, turnover, special teams play, but here's one that doesn't get talked about much anymore, and that's time of possession. Whoever controls the football, gives their defense a break, and takes care of business, that's the team that's going to win this ball game. Jack Fox has us ready to go, and we are underway here at Ford Field. Boston Scott on the return from his end zone. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Costs him about five yards as he's tackled at the 20. Philly's offense getting ready, and Jalen Hurts ready to lead them. The second-round pick who started his career at Alabama then finished with an electric senior season at Oklahoma. Tremendous production in college at two different universities, and this is a guy who was a finalist for the Heisman Trophy. Still much more of a runner than a thrower, but has plenty of arm and is capable of making the big throws downfield. And don't underestimate his ability to think the game. Remember, he's the son of a coach. They go here with a former Lion. It's DeAndre Swift. And able to steer clear of that first tackler as he works his way forward for about four. Well, at the end of all that hitting and hollering, it was a four-yard run, so the offense is going to go back to Huddle and feel pretty good about themselves. Defensively, you have to feel okay because you didn't let it turn into a bigger run, but the goal, shut it down for two yards or less. That's when you start to feel good about yourselves. Hurts throw here into the hands of Jones. And they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Mark him down at the 49. A first down there on a pickup of 25. Well, for teams that like to play man coverage, running corner routes can be tough on them because of the ability of getting into it. Sometimes you're squaring it off. Sometimes you're just rounding it. Sometimes there's a fake. Sometimes there's not. That makes it very, very difficult for a DB to stay with it. On first and ten, it's Swift. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. That's a good play by the guys on the defensive side of the ball. Held him to a gain of two. And that changes the playbook a little bit now for the guy calling plays. Second and eight. Now he's got to probably think about going to the air instead of maybe staying with the ground game. Ball right on the 50-yard line. Here's a second and eight. And this is going to be caught, but they'll say out of bounds. So it's incomplete. Nice job there forcing that incompletion. This is going to be a fun battle throughout this game. Washington trying to take away that area of the field. So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves him staring up here at a third and eight. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. And he's got this down to the 35. Hurts dangerous when he runs that football. He's got a first. He's a talented runner, and that means he's always looking for bigger and bigger gains when he takes off. Certainly found some bonus yards there beyond the first down marker, and this early drive will continue with that extra jolt from his legs. 
Play action. Here's Hurts. This is Smith to the ground. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. A well-executed 22-yard game. Well, I think when they look at their offense, they think to themselves, weapons, weapons everywhere. And they want to move the ball around. They want to spread it to different people. But you absolutely know they want to get this man involved as well. And that's what they just did on that play. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. From the gun, here's Swift. And a pickup of about four down inside the 10 to the 8-yard line. Not a run that you're going to write home about, but still a good first down run. That's what an offense calls staying on schedule. Three to four yards on first down, you're set up very well for the rest of the drive. Facing a second and six from the eight. Once again, it's Swift. And he'll take it into the end zone for an Eagles touchdown. DeAndre Swift. An eight-yard touchdown run. And the Eagles get the upper hand as they're on the board first here this afternoon. And that caps off what was really a balanced opening drive for them, Charles. They work in the rushing game and the aerial attack. And now before we get to the extra point, remember all touchdowns do have to be confirmed by the replay official. Is this a touchdown? That's the question, C.D., what are they looking for here? You just need any part of the football to break the plane. You don't need the whole football. It doesn't need to go over the entire white line. It's just that front part of the white line. And if you draw an imaginary plane going straight up, that's what they need to cross. After review of the play, ruling on the field is reversed. So take away the touchdown. The officials rule he did not get the football to break the plane. First and goal, a chance for an early statement here on the road. Gainwell is into the end zone. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Everybody in the stadium knew what they were going to do right there, CD. Three tight ends on the field, all that extra bulk, and they run it in. And you saw where that one went, right? You run it over your best blocker. I can just see the head coach right now. I want to run this one over the big boy. And they got it done. On for the extra point, Jake Elliott. He's got it, and the Eagles lead at 7-zip. So that drive consumes nine plays all told. And it was Kenneth Gainwell who finished it off with a touchdown run. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. No run back here for Raymond. This will be a touchback. So here are the Lions now as they get sent for their opening drive. They'll be led out by the first overall selection of the 2016 draft. From Cal, it's Jared Goff. And at one point, the ascension of Jared Goff was really, really strong. Back-to-back -back Pro Bowls, took his team to the Super Bowl, and came really within one quarter of winning it. But since that time, he's had bouts of inconsistency, and that's been the struggle for him as he tries to get back to the form he showed earlier in his career. Goff in this Lions offense, set for a first and 10 at their 25-yard line. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. And he's going to get a good gain of nine here up to the 34. Brandon, to me, what's important right here on this drive is for them to get at least two first downs. They've got to give their defense a chance to settle down, catch their breath a little bit after they give up a touchdown on the opening drive. Maybe a good spot to take a shot here, second and a yard from the 34. First carry now for David Montgomery, and he'll be brought down right around the 37. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. I know what you're thinking out there. I know a lot of you are thinking, take a shot downfield. It's a great spot for it. I'd say maybe later in the game, definitely in the second half. But right now, I think they were just trying to get some momentum built. Get a first down, pick it up, and keep moving. 
On first down, it's gone. And that's hauled in by St. Brown over the middle. It's a game of matchups, and that's why you take your receivers and move them around a bunch, especially your best guys. And when they work out of the slot, you often hear the coaches talk about how great it is because it gives you a two-way go. You can break out or you can break in. That makes it hard to defend. On second down, here's Goff. And he couldn't get that one to his man. Short of him, it's low and incomplete. How about that? Red man coverage and decided to test them early. But it proved up to the task and forced the incompletion. An incomplete pass on second down leads us to third and inches. They'll run it. Here's Montgomery. And he's got the first down yardage before being taken down at midfield. The gain of four that time as the drive continues. You know it was tough for them to stand on the sidelines and watch the other team take it downfield and score, wasn't it? So they knew when they got on the field, it's on them. Pick up first downs, get downfield and score. How about them picking up that third and short? I was just going to say, you and I were talking before the game, those third down conversions are going to be huge in this one. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. From the 47 now, they work with a second and seven. Gone. That's going to be caught by Josh Reynolds. And he has another first down as he'll get the ball down to the Eagles 36. It's a gain of 11 yards that time, and it produces a new set of downs. So from the 36 now, first and 10. They'll try the middle with Montgomery. And he'll work his way inside the 30 now to the 28. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. Well, that run right there was an offensive line coach's dream, wasn't it? Guys picked up all of their assignments, created a nice gap for the running back to get through, pick up seven yards. Yeah, he's probably chortling on the headset right now, saying, we got it going, boys. Let's keep it going. Play action. It's gone. Now a quick throw there, but it's going to be incomplete. So the incomplete pass on the last play, and that leads us to a third and three. Back to throw, golf. That is caught, and he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Give him the third down conversion, five yards on the play. Well, they kept it simple there, CD, only needing the short gain to move the chain, so they didn't want to go with a deep throw. They just go with that safer, shorter throw and able to convert. Nothing wrong with that at all, partner. Check the box, right? Make sure you pick up the first down. Offense is getting established. You're moving the ball. You're not turning it over. Check, check, check. They like what they're doing early in the game. So the completion gets him just a yard, and that's going to bring up second down. Yeah, that one was covered pretty well because they were trying to leak the tight end out into the flat. I think they were hoping he could catch and turn up field and pick up the first down. Second and nine. Now gone. He'll get this underneath to Montgomery. A strong, broken tackle on that one. And then they get him to the ground, just shy of the 15. So the completion good for six yards. And now it's third and three. Coming up here, looking for three yards to pick up the first. On third down, they go Montgomery. And all the way down inside the five to the four. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. A stop there on third. They could have held him to three on this opening drive. Now they have to bow their necks on first and goal. If I'm looking at this from the offense's point of view, 
That's a big time pickup right there. And I'd go right at him with another momentum play. I'd go quickly and a tackle because right now they probably have their heads down a little bit since they didn't stop him on third down. So another third down conversion, and now they've got a first and goal. Montgomery diving for the end zone, and he'll get there. Touchdown. Some good running there at the end of the drive. He had the burst that set up the first and goal, and then one play later, he's in the end zone. Brandon, what I liked about that sequence is I'm not sure who made the play call, but they understood the situation, understood the momentum. A nice hard-charging run, give it right back to him and let him cap things off. Extra point by Badgley, up and good. And we are tied at seven. That one was an extended drive, 14 plays all told. And it was David Montgomery's touchdown run that polished it all off. Turn Boston Scott. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped at the 23 yard line. So back onto the field. Here come the Eagles for their second drive. So both of these teams, Charles, coming off touchdowns now, but this offense, they just had to stand on the sideline, watch their opponent author a really impressive drive to reach the end zone. Yeah, and I think you're not telling yourself the truth if you don't think there's some one upsmanship going on right now because. They just had their touchdown answered by a drive of double-digit plays that also found the end zone. Now they want to do something even more impressive to answer that one. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here, and if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up the score. They'll send Brown in motion right. Now they'll fake it there on the jet sweep, and instead he'll Swift. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Seven seven, our score after one. Start of the second quarter, and it's the Eagles in possession. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and ten. Hurt sets up to throw it. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Smith. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight. Second and two. Two yards to go, second down. Off the play fake, here's Hertz. Goes right back to Smith again. And he'll be out of bounds, just shy of the 40. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. Second and short, that's a rundown, so it's definitely a good time to go play action if you're feeling it. And they do so and pick up a first down. So the ball moves into Lion territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 41. Hurts. Towards the end zone for Brown. And that's going to be caught for an Eagles touchdown. A.J. Brown, 41 yards. And the Eagles have taken the lead. Elliott on for the extra point. And he's got it. It's now a 14-7 ball game. 
The drive summary that time, five plays. And it's capped off by an A.J. Brown touchdown. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. Here's Raymond bringing it out. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. Back onto the field come the Lions for their second overall drive. That last drive, it was a good mix. Run, pass, run, pass. Defense on their toes. And what really helps out in a big way is when you're doing the run-pass mix and everything's working, that means that they're guessing wrong every time on defense. They think you're going to pass when you run and vice versa. I would continue that, and when they finally draw a beat on you, maybe you mix it up a little bit, a little play action and throw the ball. And will they maintain that balance? Time to find out. And they're going to stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever. Second and ten. So if he's been playing defense in this one, there's a little bit of the good and some bad because they did give up the touchdown run to him earlier but shut him down otherwise. Outside of that, you're exactly right. I would say they've contained him very well. Movement there on the offensive line, a little quick and a five-yard penalty. Ball start, offense. Jonah Jackson, former third-round pick, the guilty party. Still second down. And that false start penalty certainly not helping their cause here. Second down and long. Here's Goff. Throw left side to Reynolds. It'll be a gain of five. And that brings up third and a full 10 yards. Right where this set of downs started, they need a full 10 here to pick up the first down and move the chains. Throwing on third, gone. A quick throw there is incomplete. And that is how you respond after taking one on the chin to begin this game. Give up a first drive touchdown, go back out on defense, and completely shut them down to force a three and out. On fourth down, Jack Fox on to punt for Detroit. Britton Covey deep for Philadelphia. They'll score that a 36-yard punt, and the Eagles will have it taking over first and 10. Jalen Hurts bringing the Eagles out for their next drive. And he had the touchdown on the last drive, also four for four. Very, very effective. What does he need to do to translate that forward into this drive? Not think that what he saw in coverage his last time is exactly what he's going to get again. He's got to play ahead and start, and start thinking to himself, okay, we just did that. What are they going to take away now? What do we go to as a counter and continue to encourage his offensive line to continue to give him time? Well, they were really good on the last drive. No gain on the play there. Second down. And when the defense wins and gets up no yardage on a running play, that's something they can build on and carry themselves forward throughout the game. Here's second and ten. Throwing his hurts. And he short arms that one just a bit. It's low and incomplete. He was trying to get it to A.J. Brown that time. And it's third down. Here's Hurts to throw. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. Oh, and one of the linemen on the other side has got it. Well, offensively lucky they're able to keep the football, but now fourth down, so they'll have to boot it away. I do think, though, they're going to look at this as a positive. One, they recovered the fumble, so they retained possession. But two, being able to punt it changes field position for them. Imagine if that turnover takes place there. Now your defense has to go onto the field and try and hold. Instead, they get a little breathing room. 
On fourth down, punt coming from Braden Mann. Back deep, Khalif Raymond. Dancing away at the 35. And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. 35 yards that time on the punt. And the Lions will take over. Goff in this Lions offense set for a first and 10 at their own 37. They'll try and start this drive in the air. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. And partner, to me, that one was all about timing. If he's there too early, it's going to be a pass interference call. If he's too late, it's a completed pass. He was Johnny on the spot on that one. Second and 10. Now it's gone. And that went to the right side and incomplete. Tough series for the passing game. Things just aren't clicking. Hope it didn't come through on this play and get this series back on track with a completion for enough yardage for a first down. The Lions on third down. They've been good. Three for four thus far. This is third and ten. Goff now looks to throw. And he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. But well, we can talk about it like it's just a basic route, but how about the timing on this one? Lined up on the right, runs a deep in route, and how about the throw? Right on the money. Bam! Puts it right in there and on his hands. Nice completion. Really good pickup. Again, golf. That's caught. It's Sam Laporta. And to the 36-yard line, taken down there after getting eight yards. I know sometimes we can get fooled when we watch him make catches, as we just saw him do there, because he really looks like a wide receiver the way he goes about his business. Yeah, 230, 240 range. Yeah, not, not super huge. Maybe not counted on to be that inline point of attack blocker that we used to have in the good old days. But you can flex him out. You can run wide receiver routes with him. You can make him a primary target. And that's how he'll shred a defense. Well done to sniff that out defensively. He had it diagnosed pretty quickly. I love that description because diagnosed is perfect on that one. Read his keys, made the play, and he couldn't even get going moving the football. Again, they'll go ground with Montgomery. And he's going to have the first down yardage as he's down at about the 30-yard line. They're able to convert with a gain of four. I think they like this drive a little bit better there, partner. Running game helping out, picking up some of the slack. Because remember, the last drive, they went three and out. So first and ten now from the 30. Going up the gut, Montgomery. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. That was well played there defensively. Two tight ends in the formation, which essentially gave them seven blockers up front. Hard to imagine with all that size and beef that they could let a tackler through, but that's exactly what happened. A loss resulted. They'll try the air now with Goff. The throw here right sideline falls incomplete. Not only did he have a chance to scan the field there, it felt like he had a chance to scan it twice. The protection was that good. Unfortunately for him, the coverage downfield, equally good. This offense, two for two on third downs on this drive. They're in for a tough test here, though. Third and long. Here's Goff. first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Partner, this is one of the best routes anyone can have in their offensive playbook. Tough to defend because you think it's a go route and then he breaks it back on the comeback. There's one other thing you need as well. A well-thrown ball. Exactly right. Have a guy who has some precision in throwing the football because of the timing of the route. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. Now it's Goff off the bootleg. And it's complete to Mitchell. 
So just three yards on the completion there. And that will bring up second down. It's vitally important to wrap him up immediately because if you let that big guy get ahead of steam up, boy, then you've got real trouble trying to get him down. But they're able to hold him to a short gain on first down. It's second and seven from the nine. Go off throwing again. Pass complete, David Montgomery the target. And inside the five here before he's out of bounds right at the three. A gain of three last play, this time they double it and pick up six. They come out five wide, three of them to the right side. Third and two, gone. He's got his target. That's complete. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Well, you have to be aware defensively that you've got two goals because obviously you're trying to prevent the touchdown, but you're also trying to keep him from getting a first down as well. That time they weren't up to the task, and it's first and goal. Goff now to throw. Looking end zone, but it's incomplete. They're putting together a drive here in the final minutes of the half, but the coverage has been tight all game long, and they certainly want to keep them off the scoreboard here. Another shot from the one on second and goal. Coming right, this is Montgomery on the toss. And this is going to result in losing yardage. They're driven back to the eight-yard line. He went backwards seven yards, setting up a tough third down. We've hit the two-minute mark of the second quarter, 14 to 7. This has been a long drive. You got to figure a field goal would be a letdown. Can they convert now on third and goal? To throw is gone. That one thrown away from the pocket. The officials kind of looking at each other, but they'll say there was a receiver in the area, so no penalty, just an incomplete pass. Well, so a drive that spans all that time, and yet you may only come away with three points here. Well, your defense, all right, they actually like these long drives. They get to rest over on the sidelines for a while, but when you're not finishing with points in terms of touchdowns, that's frustrating. They've got to figure out how to close out these long drives and get sixes instead of threes. So they're able to end that drive with three points in this one possession ball game. And ideally, you want to end every drive with points. Most quarterbacks, you tell us, end it with a kick, right? A PAT, that's number one. Field goal, you'll take. Punts, you really don't want to do that. In this case, they'll take the field goal and get prepared for the rest of the game. to just four as they kick it away and turn things over to their D. And he won't quite make it to the 25. Philadelphia getting sent to take the field. As we eat closer and closer to intermission, Charles, remember last time out they punted. They would love to get points here, especially if this is going to be their final possession of the first half. Yeah, and this is what close games feel like because the pressure is on both sides, but sometimes the pressure is a little bit higher on the team with the slight edge because they're trying to hold on to that, trying to increase it. Let's see how this one continues. They'll throw on first down with Hurts. Got a man, and he hits him in stride. And he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. That one good for 37 yards. Able to hit on a big play right there in the two-minute drill. Now they've got a chance to use all the remaining clock and build on their lead right before halftime. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. They'll set up to throw. Got a man, it's caught at the six-yard line. And down he goes, taking it inside the 10, just shy of the five at the six. Well, it looked his way quite a bit in this first half, and with good reason. You can see it there. He has such a handful defensively, just too hard to keep him under wraps. It delivers a big play here for this offense. Yeah. 
The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts as the clock stops here with 46 seconds remaining in the first half. They're going to look to throw. And this is caught. Touchdown, Philadelphia. DeAndre Swift from six yards away. And the Eagles will extend their lead in the final minute of the half. He was on point throwing the ball right there. He had the big play to get him down close. And then he delivers a touchdown pass on first and goal. And you mentioned the big play that got him down close. I think that big play left him reeling a little bit. They didn't recover from it. And you know they always talk about having to have a short memory on defense after a big play against you? Looks like their memory was a little too long there. Elliott good on the extra point, And that makes it a 21-10 game. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And just shutting him off there. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. The Lions now taking over late in this first half. But not much time remains here in this first half. We'll see if they can get something out of this drive, at least a field goal. They could certainly use it down by two scores. On first down, golf. Now that'll be caught by St. Brown. The Lions will use the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 33 seconds to go in the first half. First and 10 here, and you know, if they could just get three out of this, something about whittling it to a one-score game at half that might provide a psychological boost. The golf throw going into the hands of Williams. No gain, and it's second down. So he caught it right at the line of scrimmage, and before he could even think about advancing it forward, he got hit. Great tackling, because that's what you're taught. Don't give up yards after the catch, and most offenses make a living off of yards after catch. Those hidden yards that may not go into the score sheet, but they count big for moving the ball and stretching the field. Really nice open field tackle. And that'll be caught. It's St. Brown. The Lions now going to use the second of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with 23 seconds to go till halftime. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Throwing again is gone. Throwing quickly there, but it's incomplete. And not a common sight, at least on this drive. A momentary setback, though, for this passing game that has been moving well this series. Good thing for them, though. Still two more downs to connect and try and pick up another first down. Now is second and 10. Out of the gun, golf. And too much juice. It'll be out of bounds, incomplete. What would look like a march to the end zone has hit a momentary roadblock with that incompletion. No need to panic. They just got to come up with a high percentage play call and see if they can get their offense back on track. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have them looking at third and ten. Now golf. To the sideline and incomplete. 
Fourth down now looming after Philly's defense stands tall in coverage. Here's Michael Badgley ready for the field goal try. He was true on his first, this a tough one, from 49 yards away. And that hits the right upright and caroms away. It's no good. And they will remain two scores down as the difference holds at 11. So plenty of leg, but it's the accuracy there that lets him down. Yeah, he hit it really well. I think this might have been good from 55, but you'll see it just conk off that upright, and they're denied a chance at three points. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. And with eight seconds on the clock, really not a lot of time to try to put anything together. Hurts throw there taken in by Smith. Now whistles and a timeout with three seconds left in the first half. And you see the clock almost empty, so this is likely the last play in the second quarter. And they'll let the quarterback keep it here on first and ten. And he's going to be taken down here as that will lead us to the end of the first half of play. So we have reached halftime here in an 11-point contest. As we send you down to Orlando, where Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. And welcome in everyone to our downtown Orlando studios in this EA Sports Halftime Report. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. Kick this one away. Here's Raymond bringing it out. Now a crease here as he's past the 30. Khalif Raymond. He might take this all the way. He will take this all the way. Touchdown, Lions. The people still trying to get back to their seats from the concession stand here at the start of the third quarter. Boom. We got points on the board. And you just identified why the bulk of stadiums have increased presence in the concession areas, right? TVs, loudspeakers, so people can still follow the game. And right now, they're bummed out that they missed that big return to start this half. Off in that Lions offense, staying on the field. They'll try for two. They're going to keep it on the ground. And he'll get in for the two points. And that'll cut the deficit down to just a field goal. I guess the coach looked at the two-point cheat sheet, said go for it, get it to a three-point game, and they did it. Yeah, sometimes you just throw out time of game. You don't worry about that. There's just a feel sometimes in making that call. And he felt good about what he had for a two-point conversion. And now they're only down three and feeling great about themselves.
So let's try this again after the kick return TD. Here's yet another kickoff. And makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. So here are the Eagles now as they get set for their first possession of the second half. We've got a close game. The offense has played well, but right now they've got to keep their foot on the gas. And that carries with it an extra bit of pressure, doesn't it? As much fun as they're having right now, they're locked in, really clicking on all cylinders. They also know that if they ever miss a chance to put points on the board, they've actually put their team in jeopardy. And that's not how you want to play the game. It's supposed to be complementary football, offense, defense. But today, it's all offense for them. Yeah, they've been playing with a sense of urgency. It's probably going to need to continue. I'm getting a sense that the momentum of this game is changing since the break. Nice play there, and this D is fired up. Right back to Swift again on second down. And he'll be tackled at the 23 after a gain of three. In the first half, he was held in check on the ground, but despite that lack of production, they still have the lead. And they've got to feel fortunate about that. If they can actually get production from their lead horse, that would help open up this offense and widen this margin, too. Still needing 10 yards. Now it's third down. Hurts. side here going to be incomplete. And that's a really good job there defensively. They went into this possession knowing that they needed to get a stop. They're in a tight ball game and they got it done. Great work to force the three and out. Got the football right back for their offense. They've got to go to the sidelines feeling pretty good about themselves and encouraging their offensive mates to get some points. On is the punter man as he boots this one away. And take it right on the 30. A yeah, seven-yard return following a punt of 45 yards. And it will be first and ten as they take over. Now the Lions offense, they get ready to head back out there. I'm guessing you wouldn't have minded being a fly on the wall at halftime because they were struggling in that first half. Down double digits. Now they're right back in this thing. So whatever was said apparently worked. And let's make sure if we're going to be a fly on the wall that we're high up on the wall because... <laughs> I know we always talk about it being clinical at the half, you know, less emotion, more execution. But every now and then, this is an emotional game. Sure. Someone's got to come in and stir some things up. And I wouldn't be surprised if maybe a few benches got overturned and the halftime water ended up hitting the floor. <laughs> Whatever happened, it's working right now. 43 yards rushing on 12 carries for him now. They held him in check in the first half, but that's his longest carry of the game right there. So would this be the definition of fresh legs since he didn't get much done in the first half? Now he has a great opportunity. He's taking full advantage of it. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. And it's picked up by the Eagles. Look at this. Middle of the field. A breakaway. And he's into the end zone. It's a fumble return and an Eagle touchdown. This was a close game. They needed a little breathing room. Boy, they got it right there on that return for a touchdown. Yeah, we would say that this could be huge. Forget it. It was huge. Gave them a comfortable lead. Elliott now to add the extra point. And his guys will take a 10-point lead. The scoop and score, always an exciting play in football, and we witnessed it there, grabbing it off the ground and then rumbling it into the end zone for six. So here's the kickoff now as he'll get it again following that fumble return for a score. And it'll come out to the 25 as Raymond will elect not to bring it out. Detroit's offense ready to take over. Off 
for this Lions offense. Set for a first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. A little short pass here taken in by Laporta. He'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. Now that's staying ahead of the chains. Really good pickup on first down, hitting the tight end there. Now it brings up a second and manageable. Just found a hole in that zone. They'll come up now second and four from the 31. Goff now looking to throw. That pass caught, it's Williams. And he'll be stopped right at midfield. Fifth catch of the afternoon, and that gives him a first down. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. From the 50, it's Goff. St. Brown making the catch on the out route. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And they'll be left with a second and about a foot. Back to throw, Goff. He's got right on the short throw. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. That was a route run not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw it, and was able to make the short sure catch and flip the down marker back to one. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Up the middle, it's Montgomery. And this will go as a gain of seven as he gets it to the 30-yard line. Offensive linemen love creating space for their guys carrying the ball. But when that guy also breaks tackles and creates extra yardage, they almost feel like he's one of them, and they really embrace him. Second down and three. Here's Gaw. with the guy throwing the ball, and they keep making the connection. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. Goff. He'll go right back to St. Brown. Nice job defensively to hold him to four, and now it's second and goal. Fake the give. Now go. He's got his man. It's caught for a Lion touchdown. James Mitchell, a five-yard touchdown. And the Lions are back within a score. This is where, as a tight end, you've got to really sell that this is a run. They're going to fake the give, hope the linebackers bite. And here they do just enough. That split second, that's all it takes for that tight end to leak out into the end zone. Touchdown. Extra point by Badgley, up and good. And the lead is down to a field goal. the 20 to about the 22. Here's the Philadelphia offensive unit now as they head out to take over possession. 
Pretty important third quarter drive for them. Momentum has sort of shifted the other direction after that last touchdown as they nurse this small lead. Hurts and the Eagles come up here first and 10 at their own 22. On the ground, it's Swift to start the drive. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. From the 25, here's second and six. They'll stay on the ground with Swift. And he's upended after a gain of two out to the 27. Well, they're hoping that the second half is better for him than the first half. They've got to find a way to get him going. He's a big part of their offense. They'll need five on this play to move the sticks. Throwing his hurts. This short throw caught by Goddard. And he is going to have an Eagles first down. He needed five. He got it barely as it will officially go down as a gain of five yards. And defensively, they were in zone coverage there. Do you have to be a little careful you're losing playing against a good quarterback like he is to not play too much zone? Yeah, you have to be careful about how much time you're giving up. I think it's a good point you just brought up. So maybe if you still want to play zone, you go to a zone blitz game. And you can drop anyone out of your defensive front. Defensive end, defensive tackle. It doesn't matter. You just exchange someone to bring more pressure towards the quarterback and still try and cover downfield. From the 35, here's the second down at six. From the gun, it's Hurts. And under the Lions' pressure, he's brought down. John Kaminsky. Just would not be denied. That's a loss of seven. Oh my God, they've started the third quarter here. They forced a punt on the first drive, and after this sack, it looks like they'll be forcing another one as well. Absolutely. Maybe got their second win coming out of the locker room. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Airing it out deep for Smith. And it's knocked away and incomplete. Some coverage there, and they were playing deep. That makes it obviously a little bit harder to run by guys. And that time, there was not much of a window to get the ball in there, and it winds up incomplete. The Eagles send out their punter now as he's on here to punt it away. And a fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. A 41-yard punt there with no return. And they will take over first and 10. Getting set to go again here on offense, Jared Goff trots back onto the field. Last drive, surgeon-like, dare I say, seven for seven. That'll help your QB rating. <laughs> it will indeed, won't it? Can you figure out QB rating? Can you do I it? Can know, you do the formula? No, I just know the higher the number, the better. Yeah, that's what I've been <laughs> that's told, what too. what I know. I know that in the NFL, 158.3 is the number they're all trying to get to. I think he was that on that last drive. Excellent job pushing through tacklers that time to pick up six. If you're in the offensive puddle, you're smiling after that play because you've certainly got them guessing now. Second and short, could they just hand it off for another big game, or did they take advantage of this spot to take a big shot downfield? From the 33, here's a second and four. They'll keep pounding here with Montgomery. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. It'll be a loss of a couple on the play, so now third down coming up. I know they've got to be careful not to go to the well too often, but it's a fine line, isn't it? Because sometimes, if you've got success, you want to just keep pounding away. But no success there. They rallied quickly on the defensive end. From the gun, here's Gone. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. A gain of 22. I'll tell you what, a lot of those mid-range throws have been available because sometimes teams get too concerned about the deep ball. They leave too much space in front of them, and these guys have been taking advantage so far. Yeah. 
So from Philadelphia territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 47. And off comes to Montgomery. And he'll work down inside the 45. It's a gain of three on what will be the final play of this third quarter. Three quarters have come and gone. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now at Ford Field. It's been a very hotly contested game to this point. Just a field goal separating these two teams as we get set for the fourth quarter. On second down, here's Gibbs. And some good tackling there as he stopped up at about the 41. Three yards on the pickup. That's going to set up an interesting third and about four to go. And everybody thinking about the possible field goal on fourth. It would be 58 yards from here. Here's Goff. He's got his target. That's complete. And it'll be touched down here, but not before he does pick up the first. The drive stays alive. A third down gain of eight. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook, but oh so effective. Nice completion there. Keeps the sticks moving. First down. Here's the run to Montgomery. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. Certainly a nice job there by the defense rallying to the football and getting him on the ground, but I think the play gets made by the defensive front because if they can't get upfield, their job is to go ahead and get low, almost get into a ball sometimes, stack things up, and make it difficult for the runner to find a hole. Oh, no, he lost the football. Fortunate to get that football back because trailing here in the second half, last thing they needed was to lose the possession. And the word I think of here is opportunity because it could have been lost there, their chance to score points. But the opportunity for the defense was to go ahead and really close this game down if they were able to get possession. So third down, but you got to think they'd like to get closer, even in a dome with good kicking conditions for a possible field goal. Gone. He wants it all for the end zone. And that is caught. Touchdown, Detroit. Jamison Williams, 43 yards. And the Lions have taken a fourth quarter lead. Might be seeing that one on the highlight shows tonight. The home run ball here in the fourth quarter to take the lead. There's nothing like being aggressive, preaching that to your team, and then following through all the way through. Go ahead and throw one more up there. Why not? Been a great game, and we are not done yet. Badgley on for the extra point. And that will make this a four-point game. A good drive that time as they go nine plays in all. And it was Jamison Williams wrapping things up with a touchdown. the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. And his guys will get the football right at the 20-yard line. Now I think we're going to get a timeout here. Yes, a timeout here as it looks like we've got a lion that's shaken up. The medical staff will attend to him and we will step aside. at the line this Philly offense set to go now the bad news for them they've seen that cushion they once had totally evaporate and they're working from behind the good news they now have the opportunity to regain the lead right back and this will leave them a yard short nice pickup of nine yards on first down a little do-it-yourself run right there and a nice game. And I like that he knew that that was about all he was going to get. So he did a nice job of protecting himself, took care of the football, took what the defense gave him. If they continue to allow him to do that, they'll find their way taking what they can all the way to the end zone. 
On second down, Swift. And he'll get it up to the 33-yard line. Four yards the pick up, first down. Second and one, and people want to run the football. This is where every back in the league is supposed to do exactly what we just saw there. Pick up the first down. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. They will run straight ahead with Swift. And this is going to be an Eagles first down as good running gets him to about the 44. Yeah, they really needed to get something going, didn't they? They had punted on the last two possessions. The running game starting to come to the front for them, providing a nice pickup there to keep this drive going. On first and 10, it's Swift. He's going to get it across the midfield stripe into Lion territory. 56 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. You know what really fires up offensive linemen? When the guy that is carrying the ball behind them can create his own space and break a tackle along the way. Ball on the 47-yard line. Here's second down at a yard. Once again, it's Swift. Nice move at the 40. And he's corralled, but not before getting it inside the 35. And hold on here, because on that last run, it looks like we have a player who was shaken up. While they come out and take a look at him, we will step aside for just a moment. All runs on this drive so far. It's first and ten. Swift going to try up the middle. And able to get this to the 31. This has been an up and down, back and forth type of a game, hasn't it? Maybe this long drive take a little bit of the wind out of their sails, kind of settle things down a little bit. From the 31, here's second and six. Here's Hurts to throw. His throw is going to be incomplete. That ball was tipped in the air, and while it ultimately fell incomplete, it caused a few anxious moments for the guy slinging it. He's had quite a day. He knows how to get it into the end zone. He's throwing it really, really well. And maybe Lady Luck is on his side because he avoided his first interception of the contest. Hurt sets up to throw it. And he can't find a receiver, and he's put it down. Charles Harris getting home for the sack. Okay, was it a breakdown in protection? Did the running back not pick him up? What well, does it really matter? Sometimes it's just a great play made by the defense. Big time sack. So a big, big kick coming now for Jake Elliott. This from 54 yards away. The kick by Elliott is good. And that'll bring him back within a point. So they hadn't called on him at all until this point, but he comes through here and buries one from long range. Yeah, that's awfully impressive because usually kickers like to get that first one out of their system in the first quarter, sort of get them into the flow of the game, but to come in this late and knock it down from long distance, give him a lot of credit. After the field goal, here's Elliott to kick it away. Khalif Raymond now. Here's Khalif Raymond to return. And able to get this out to the 25. And Detroit getting set to go now. They've been rolling the last couple of drives, each inning in touchdowns. So this game is flipped. They were down. Now they're up with the football. We'll see how they handle it. Can we get a spy on the headset now between the head coach and offensive coordinator? Because they've been in attack mode. Had to get back into the game. Now they have the lead. Do you stay on the attack? Or do you dial it back a little bit to try and protect this lead? Well, my cop-out answer would be somewhere in the middle. I think it's going to be a fine line, is it not? I think you're exactly right. But I do think if they can stay aggressive and keep them on their heels, they'll be best served that way. And throwing here to start the drive as they connect left side. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. That's good for 28 yards. 
And these guys certainly are not hiding what their intention is. They're absolutely showing it. They're definitely not going to sit on this lead here in the fourth quarter. So from Philadelphia territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 47. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. 80 yards rushing for him now as he has been tremendous all day long. And carries like that, that's how they're going to continue to salt this thing away here, Charles, in the fourth quarter. Yeah, how about that? A new set of downs. Clock continues to move. No better way to close out a game than to tap those mastodons you have up front and say, guys, keep pounding them. Let's keep the ball, keep their offense on the sidelines, and let's close this one out. Now here's a pass on first down that's knocked away and incomplete. Well, they've been back on their heels a little bit here in this drive, but a chance to exhale just a little bit there with incompletion on first down. Now they have to gear up, try and get two more stops and escape this drive. Second and ten, golf again. Oh, short pass. Oh, no, he lost the football. But it looks like one of the DBs has it. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Well, partner, here's where team football gets tested a little bit because I know the defensive guys were over there chilling on the sidelines, and all of a sudden, they heard the sudden change call because that fumble puts them right back on the field. And they've got to go out and finish the game now themselves. Absolutely. Nursing that slim lead here in the fourth. A costly turnover. Hurts and the Eagles come up here first and 10 at their own 11. They'll try and start this drive in the air. And that one drops down, incomplete. Good coverage there, forced the ball free, and it's second down. As soon as he leaked out and began his route, someone on the defensive side broke with him and arrived just in time to separate him from another reception. An incomplete pass on first down, that leads to a second and ten. They're going to look to throw. And he'll slide to a halt here. Still a little shy of the first down marker. They'll wind up with positive yardage. It's a gain of three. But now it's third down. I certainly like what he did right there because he smartly wanted to avoid forcing anything downfield because nothing appeared to be open. Nice harmless slide there to avoid the big hit. And he gets a small gain on the play. Throwing from the gun. It's Hurts. And he nearly got the first himself, but it appears he's going to be about a yard or two short. Decent gain on the scramble to six, but now it's fourth. That looked great when he first took off because, in my mind, there was room to run, and he had the marker in his sight. But I certainly didn't expect him to close so quickly, and neither did he. They got to him just in time, and now that forced him to make a decision with his fourth down call. They'll try it now with Swift. And he's going to get the first down here as he's taken down at the 22. Fourth quarter, two minutes on the clock in a tight one-point game. So it's Eagle football here as we get you reset. They come up on a first and ten, desperately needing a score here on what could be their final drive. On first and ten, it's Hurts. A throw on the run, but that's going to be incomplete. Limited time left on the clock after that incompletion, so I think both sides are going to save every second to prepare before the next snap. Because once the ball's in motion, it may be a non-stop push to finish this drive off. Everyone better be on the same page right now, because I think they're going to try and get several plays off in quick succession if they can. Terrific catch, gets his feet down, 
Sets up a fourth down and short situation. I bet we're wondering, why didn't he get to the first down marker running his route? Am I correct? You got to know where the marker is, right? Got to figure it out. I know every receiver has taught that. Sometimes circumstances change it. At least they have an opportunity to make a decision with not much yardage to go. And he is going to have an Eagles first down. As he'll wind up getting close to 10 yards there. They only needed one on fourth and one. Add that one to the good run tally right there. He's been strong throughout this game. And there's no reason to suggest he's going to slow down in the fourth quarter at all. And that's exactly what they need him to do. Keep churning out first downs. Hurts. This is Smith to the ground. And he's going to get this down to the 35-yard line. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts as he'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the game. Two timeouts still available in this final minute. It's first and ten now. He'll look to throw. He'll find Swift out of the backfield. Now the Eagles will use the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 37 seconds to play. They'll come up now, second and nine. Back to the running game with Swift. The Lions will use the first of their timeouts. That will leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. The sound reverberating here in the dome. This is third down. They'll look to throw. Dancing to his left. And he can't get a throw off. He's taken down. What a huge play at this point in the game. It'll go as a sack, a loss of three, and in turn, it takes us to a fourth down. It has been a rough afternoon for him trying to get rid of the football. See, that's now five sacks. How'd you like to be the offensive coordinator, the offensive line coach trying to come up with an answer for this pass rush. What blocking assignments do you change? Can guys play a little bit better? And we're seeing the end result on the scoreboard. Long day in the pocket for their quarterback. Right now, everything resting on the right foot of Jake Elliott. The Lions now going to use the second of their timeouts. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. This to almost certainly win the football game. And this is right down the middle as he puts it through. And it's celebration time on that sideline as they have taken the lead in the final seconds. And you know, in an era of cost-cutting and maximizing your roster, this is a club that does not skimp on special teams, and in these situations, it pays dividends. And that's great vision by the organization. When the difference between winning or losing depends on who you have kicking the ball, would you rather have a street-free agent out there or a solid pro like this? Answer's pretty evident to me. Keep on pulling. After the field goal, here's Elliott to kick it away. And the tackle going to be made right there at the 25-yard line. One last throw here for golf. 
Now a desperation throw deep downfield. That's caught inside the 20. And he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he gets all the way down inside the 20-yard line. It was a long shot, but they did get one final chance to try to score and overcome this small deficit. No touchdown, though, Charles. And that brings this one to a close. Yeah, I think Hope was wearing one jersey and Worry was wearing another on the other sideline as that final snap played out. Now, we've seen some incredible plays to win games before, but in this case, I think the distance was just a little bit too great for it to happen here. So that's a wrap for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn, and this has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. For more, check us out at easports.com. With that, we say so long, everyone, from Ford Field.